Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. All right, here we go. Number six, want to be the SOTS, star of the show, or the HEOHP, the hit of every holiday party? It's simple. Bring a Chris Cootery board. <laughs> Is it simple because you had yeah, a hard, hard time saying that? It snuck up on me. It's a charcuterie board shaped like a Christmas tree. But see, Isn't then that people fun? are afraid to take the cheese and crackers. Well, see, you that's start. what I don't like. It's not, like yeah. If you're not uh, too creative, just buy a tree-shaped cutting board and fill it with cheese, crackers, and veggies and nuts. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can design your own using various uh, treats and fruit. And take it from me, Chris Cootery boards bring the fun and they bring the festive and people love a good snack tray so Chris I Cootery. do love a good cheese and cracker but you yeah. know what nothing tops a nacho for me yeah oh, I love nachos maybe you set a bowl of nacho and <laughs> cheese dip <laughs> next to it anyway that's hard at a party yeah. go on Larry <laughs> I digress uh, number five talk about over the top this is Rosewood Kona Village wow, hold on dark here it, it is here it is. Is it at night let's look at it in the daytime <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. all right that's better <laughs> it's an exclusive resort in the big island in Hawaii a tsunami destroyed it in 2011 but the resort has been rebuilt it's the epitome of luxury the resort's crown jewel is a gated compound with four bungalows that include living rooms kitchen sun decks infinity pools there they are you can rent the compound for just forty thousand oh. dollars a night. Oh, that's all. Well, think four bungalows. You know, that's only ten thousand a night. Yeah, it's a, and steal. It's a bargain. Yeah. All right, number four coming up in the nine a.m. hour. I'm making another incredible Thanksgiving appetizer. Oh, good. I forgot. Cornbread canapes. Well, canapes. What's a canapé? Uh, it's very freaking fancy. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, and you're making it? it. It's just like a little. Appetizer you hold, I'm sure there's a, a better definition of sure, it, but it's right, got yeah. it's got um, little cutouts of American cheese that I made with Ooh. a cookie cutter. Anyway, it's just a lot. Right now, let's talk about a three ingredient delight: pumpkin beer bread. Ooh. You need Bisquick, white sugar, and pumpkin beer or pumpkin ale, depending on your preference. There are lots of recipes out there. You just punch it into the old Google, and it'll give you the easiest recipe to find. And it's an excellent hostess gift if you know how to bake. All right. Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. Number three, you dirty rat. We're looking at some of the best old timey terms used for informants, people who tattle to the cops or run their mouth. Oh, yeah. The list is courtesy of our friends at Mental Floss. First up, Beefer. That's from 1899. From 1925, we have Blobber. Other favorites, knockdown, yep. a lemon, yep. a snake. You're not oh, saying it right. See, it's a lemon, grass. see? It's a snake yeah. in the grass. Yeah. A dirty ranch. A snickle. snickle. A yeah. cum copper, see? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. It's Monday morning. What are we getting? You're bringing the energy. I'm, it's from your there era. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Number two. How often should you get your hair cut? There's not one specific rule, but this one's going to really help. Here are some tips. Uh, if you've got short hair, you may want to get it cut every four weeks. If you've got long hair and you use lots of styling tools like straighteners, curling irons, you may want to go every six to eight weeks. And you might want to just a surface trim or uh, or a dusting to clean up split ends. So that hopefully is helpful for everybody. Yeah. It's very specific. All right, number one, a recent TikTok video went viral showing a woman who refused to get out of the car on a first date to the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess she was offended that she was being brought to the Cheesecake right. Factory. Yeah. 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 Anyway, social media was doing what social media does best, debating stuff. What are your first date deal breakers? Here are lists of places mentioned on the list. These would be deal breakers to some people, according to social media. If your first date was at the Olive Garden, Applebee's, a coffee shop, a movie theater, your house, or a buffet wow. place. Well, that's a lot well, of all great different places. Reasons. Come on. You, you mean, that, if it's at your house, deal then breakers. you're a pervert. <laughs> right? You, you've got the wrong intentions. Yeah. Right? It could be misconstrued. You're right. Yeah. It's not a safe place for a first date. You're right. Yeah, and if it's at... Applebee's, it's, it's delicious. saying that you're not worth the investment. That's not true. That's not Unless true. Unless you're like, listen, if you're 20 or, you know, you're, yeah. if you, you're that's fine. Yeah. 
Well, but, it depends if you're... What if I'm 50 and I want to go to the right, Apple and you love a good sandwich. Then you're saying to her, I'm not that into you. Well, maybe you could have <laughs> conversations where you both discuss how much you love the nachos at Applebee's and you think that would be a lovely first date. You just... It, it, these blanket Seems statements. Seems awfully pretentious. Really? Yeah. I mean... I'm not going on a first date to a buffet. Come on, buffets I are... Did, thank you. Some good living there. Huh. Is that where you took your wife uh, I, uh, on a date? Uh, to a no, buffet? I don't believe so. <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> Not opposed to it, though. Your third wife, you did. Yeah, my third wife. My second <laughs> wife, maybe. And the Olive Garden, you get all of that unlimited breadsticks yeah. and, and salad, Larry? How romantic. <laughs> Gluttony. Mm -mm. <laughs> coffee shop was on there, though, also? Coffee? Or a movie theater? You can't go to a movie now? What's wrong with a movie? Well, you don't get to know somebody in a movie because you're supposed to be not talking while you're watching all the right, movie. All right, so then kind what's the matter with a coffee shop? It's kind of nice in the movie. It's like you can ease into it, you know? Listen, you're very if you have judgy. to ease into it, then you're maybe there, you're not a good match. Oh, too bad you're taken, Larry. <laughs> Ladies, sorry. That's the six of six. Yeah, well, we <laughs>